Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to EU4. Rule Britannia has just recently come out, and it's been a while since our last campaign, so I figured I'd, you know, jump back in. So, right off the bat, we're going to play as Fiodoro in uh, today's campaign, because I want to get Gothic Invasion. It seems like a pretty reasonable thing to do. Uh, so, yeah. As you can see, I've already got a bit of a test game going there, just to, just to see if I had what it takes and also to get a feel for like the initial starting kind of situation here. All right, so here we are. Let's uh, zoom out and get a, a look of things. I mean, first of all, let's see what it is we're trying to do here. I mean, all right, we've got some cool new tactics here and by tactics, I mean achievements. But yeah, here's what we need to do. Start as Fiodoro, conquer all Germanic culture provinces in Europe. That sounds pretty, pretty straightforward. Let's look at culture now, shall we? So yeah, we've got uh, all of this. I'm pretty sure there's like a full-on culture group mode, but you know, we won't worry about that. Now, our initial goal, of course, is to not die. So what do we what do we have to look at? Well, we are Fiodoro, just a one province minor. We've got big bad Crimea here and we're surrounded by all kinds of uh, other people. I don't really want to tangle with Genoa right away because they, in addition to their regular allies, they also have like their whole trade league thing here. So, right now for us, the only thing we've really got going is to rival Kandar, get a little bit of power projection going. We'll just lower our maintenance basically to nothing so we can get a little bit of cash flowing here. In fact, we might want to join Genoa's trade league for a little while at least, just for protection. In the meanwhile though, let's also focus on, we'll get our guys working on trade. I'm been a while. I haven't played since before Cradle of Civilization, so I think this is a Cradle of Civilization thing where we can kind of like change what it is that our merchant is focusing on there. We're going to stay profit driven. Driven? Driven. That's the word I'm looking for. Yes. Anyway, so let's uh, let's do what we can. So we'll start off, grant some monopoly charters. Since we can't really get any influence from them, might as well just do that. I mean, we don't have to, but we can, so we will. And aside from that, we'll we'll play the old risky game of trying to get as much military power as we can right off the bat for... All right, that's good. I should probably back up this save right now in case things go horribly wrong because we've actually got a good start going there. Now, my first thought is I want to get rid of... Like, before we even focus on allies or anything, because we're small, we can't really do a lot to start with. So I want to start getting claims on Crimea, because we're going to be going after them soon enough. And for reasons I'll explain by the by. But, we also... Actually, you guys hate Crimea. I hate Crimea. You also hate Kandar. So perhaps I will try to ally Circassia. We're going to stab them in the back later, but let, let's suck up to them for now. My alternative strategy was to actually invade Circassia early, but yeah. So, at this point... We're just going to kind of sit here for a while, and that means I'm going to... I'm just going to fast forward ahead, because my strategy that I find, like, early game seems to work to kind of stabilize Fyodoro's position is we want to sit around until the Renaissance spawns, develop our capital to get the Renaissance, and then we want to wait for... Their, there's, like, some kind of crisis-y thing here for Crimea, where when their initial con dies, they get some pretender rebels, and... Most of the time, they don't end up becoming a vassal of the Ottomans. If they do, then, you know, we just restart. But if they don't, then they're going to be fighting rebels. And depending on their alliance web, we might be able to just conquer them right off the bat. We also might even want to do something crazy like, I don't know, Royal Mary into Byzantium or whatever. But I'll see you guys, you know, a few years down the road and we'll get back to things. So see you shortly. Okay, so we've been hit by the Renaissance, and uh, some things have happened. I mean, the big, big problem in the room right now is going to be the existence of the Ottomans here as an ally of Crimea. Though, if we go to war with Kandar, Kandar, then uh, might be able to pull something off there. And, like, you know, we go to war with Kandar, and, I mean, I was hoping we'd have Circassia to help us, but it kind of looks like that's not going to happen because they're at war with Byzantium right now. Very unfortunate stuff, all told. But uh, ideally, 
what's gonna happen now is we're just gonna we're gonna buff ourselves up as we often do and the uh well i mean this is basically like the first thing we got to do in order to uh, like get anywhere with uh life so yeah in about a year that'll That'll cover that, but the important thing that this does for us is it lets us, yeah, it lets us build up our, our defenses so that we can fight here. You might have noticed there was like a little guy here, Samscape, but then Georgia and Imreddy kind of tag team to destroy it. Imreddy has no allies. Trebizond wants Tau. They also want Guria, but you know, screw them. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go to war. By the by, oh god, they're drilling over there. They're drilling, they're drilling, they're, they're actually drilling. That's interesting. We'll start drilling too, because, you know, screw them. Anyway, we'll build up our army. They're uh, building up their guys, we're building up our guys. And... And we might as well, might as well set that up to be at its maximum. And so we're gonna drill, they're gonna drill. Uh, Trebzond will hopefully do some distraction noodling. And let's, uh... Let's hope everything goes well. I kind of want to wait until like our full army is built before we actually get in here. But at the same time, I mean, it shouldn't make too terribly big of a difference, hopefully. All right, let's let's get this war started. Oh, Circassia would come in as well, but let, let's promise Trebs on some land because I think. Like, between them, we'll have, like, 14 guys, and they have only those many guys, and if we're lucky, George will come in to tag team them. We should start fabricating on Georgia as well, by the way. And let's see here. We'll go boop, and then we'll, uh, you know, go boop in this general direction. So yeah, you guys are attached. Uh, your ship is gonna go out here. Trebizond's navy is gonna hopefully show up. And, you know, life will look pretty good, hopefully. We won. Which is always good. I mean, winning is... It's not everything in life, but it does help. Alright, so let, let's get the navy in here. Doodly, doodly, doodly. Okay, you're sitting there. You're sitting there. My navy is over here. Now we'll just go get the rest of these fellas. Merge up over here. Where did my... Uh, I lost one of my barks. Well, that's unfortunate. We'll get our money back later. We're making money. Silly game, doesn't know what it's talking about. Alright. So, you add for it. There we go. And we'll land you over here. And the war, the war making shall begin, as one expects. Yeah, damn right you go to Imreddy while I go get Odish. Oh, you're gonna take Guri, are you? If I can, I'll try to. Oh, and look, Georgia has declared war on Imreddy as well. So this is going to be fun all around. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pull my guys back and hope that Imreddy, uh... I wish these guys would... Like, I could swap Guria for Tau here. Oh, oh, I should probably help fight. That way I get my war participation up. Doodly-doo-doo-doo. -doo -doo. Hopefully I'm not losing my ships here. I think I'm losing my ships, aren't I? Nope, I lost no ships. That's good. What are you doing? No, no, go get Gur- Oh god, you're gonna take him ready. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> They're gonna take him ready for themselves, aren't they? I can't- I can't have that because I need- I need to be able to keep expanding. Oh yeah, we're also not, uh, Got to start building on Georgia here. I mean, I'll sit and wait until... Till Trebzon pieces out if I absolutely have to. You know I'll do it. Crazy game, you know that. Dirty, rotten cheat. Oh, but then again, they might take, uh... They might take the land anyway. Damn it. Damnation. Should have set this to be, like, maximum priority, I suppose, before I started. What's this? Gain a claim. Genoa doesn't like me. All right. Yeah, protect the faith. We'll do totally do that. Damn. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh. Okay. Cool. 
cool for them. Damn, this did not work out the way I hoped it would. Because I'm, I mean, I'm going to have to fight Trebizond now. I don't really want to fight Trebizond because, you know, they've been my buddy this whole time. But if, I mean, if I have to, I have to. Of course, I would rather get a, you know, a personal union over them. That would be pretty sweet. <sighs> I don't know, man. Sometimes life just does not go your way. Anyway, while we're just sitting here. Oh, technically I own the province. I mean, I could just take the land and not give anything to uh, him ready. Then George is just going to take this land and they're going to get bigger and stronger and I'm not going to actually get anything out of them. Because they've got a fort here and they've got a fort here. Capital over there. I mean, what am I... Why are you still... Yeah, go to a... Yeah, you're supposed to be doing that. Oops. Ah, oh boy. I mean, I guess if I'm lucky, yeah, some, like, Georgian Separatists will pop up and then we can, like, kill those Separatists and... Life will go on. I mean, I kind of wish I could do that, like, force the AI to give me what I want. But then again, I did kind of set some of the stuff up on my own to kind of not work so great. So I guess I... I can't get too mad, but I am, like, totally raging right now and I don't like that. I don't like it when things don't go my way, as you might imagine. What's going on over here? Who are you fighting? You're fighting the Ottomans, huh? Alright, that was good for you, I suppose. Very good for you. And as for me, how are we doing? You're 10 years old. You're actually pretty good. You're not bad, but you're better. I like, I like, you know, good stuff. I could... I could summon another general. I don't think I am, though. Uh, let's see. Oh, God. Well. Good for Austria, I guess. What's going on over here? Ramazan, Karaman, people are eating each other. They're eating each other alive down there. It's crazy. In... I could, like, just take this. I mean, I could give this to Trebizond. Not giving that to Trebizond. I'll let... Yeah, I'll let Georgia take this stuff. Why not? And also, give me war reparations. And... Yeah, we'll get ourselves a little bit of extra prestige. Alright, and then we'll uh, immediately fabricate a claim on this. Go. And... Alright. Alright, that worked out. Good enough for me. Alright, let's, uh, we'll work on drilling. That's a good trick. Yeah, and then when Georgia finishes over here, we can then fight Georgia. That'll be fun. Let's see here. Who do I want to make my enemy? Well, Imreti's gonna be gone in a second, so I can afford to do that. And we'll make Crimea an enemy as well. You're bigger... Kinda weird that the game would look stronger than me. That was weird. Anyway, alright, so I guess that's okay as a starting point for me as far as I'm concerned. I mean, it's not it's not perfect, especially because we're gonna have to deal with a bunch of garbage with Georgia over here, but then again, if we can if we can push in here, who are you fighting? You're not fighting anyone, but you know what? I want the Ottomans to like me, so what's the religious map mode looking like? Am I gonna be attacking Not Sunni? Gonna be some, uh... Well, we are gonna be fighting. Yeah, this is all Sunni land. If only it was Shia land instead, then at least the Ottomans wouldn't really care. Alright, we're, uh... We're kind of keeping up. That's a plus. Kind of, sort of. And the drilling... The drilling will be good. The drilling will continue until... Well, until morale... proves to its maximum... maximuminess. Yeah, sure, why not? We'll have five barks. They will be the best barks. Wonder if I'll be able to get Trebizond to come back into the to a second war. See? I mean, sooner or later I'm probably gonna have to 
stab them in the back. But for now, they've been they've been good to me, so I like that. Okay, you've embraced feudalism. That does scare me a little. I mean, oh, and George, oh, there we go. Georgia has Georgia'd me. Yay! All right, I'll rival you right back, Georgia. In, let's let's have a look here. Georgia's got no allies. Cora Coinlo is warning them. I have only one claim. All right, let's uh, actually let's wait a month here. I just want to take things over. Ooh, this is mothballed. Excellent. That means I can go screw them. It's good. Screwing bad guys is good. Oh wait, but. Can't see where they are, so they might show up. All right, let's wait until November. Okay, there we go. And the Claire, aha! And we'll yeah, we'll say take him ready, and we'll we'll. Ah, damn it! Those geniuses. They had their fort there, so I can't actually take advantage of the mothballing. That's a little unfortunate, but. You know, life goes on. Oh, sweet. We actually got some professionalism. I also feel like I should have read that to see what it was doing. Why do you hate me so much? Oh, because you want my provinces. All right. I'll suck up to them and maybe they'll change their mind. Also, you know what it occurs to me? Well, I still can. Oh, I, I can't actually. Do they actually want everything? Not really. But they do want some of this stuff. Okay. Less good for me, I'll admit. There's someone who's at a five? Who's at a five? Is it you, Circassia? Nope. No. Five around. It's probably the Ottomans. Goddamn Ottomans. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, right. This will actually save us money. Let's see. Protect our trade, huh? Lithuania will not like us. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. More income. Yeah, I'm going to save these missions for later. Incidentally, did I even bother mentioning these missions? I don't think I did. They're they're new in uh, the Rule Britannia update. And, I mean, they're basically like Hearts of Iron Forest thing. The only thing I don't like about them, like, I, I like the idea of them in general, but the only thing I don't like is the fact that we don't get, like, the random missions anymore, you know? I feel like it... Wait, why can't I go through here now? You wouldn't let me a second ago. Oh, sure, you'll let me go when I'm... But it means it'll get me killed. What the hell was that all about? Like, you you saw it, right? Like, I wasn't able to go through there when... When, like, it actually would have... What the hell? Like... I couldn't move through when... When I started the war, but then suddenly I could. And this bullshit happens. Like, what the hell is that all about? It's garbage. That's garbage, I say. Like, that right there, perfect example of why I figure the, the fort rules in this game are all jacked up. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, uh, it's not that the, the game is, like, just, like, garbage or anything, but the fort rules are weird sometimes. Oh, and these guys are going to attack Kandar. Which means, if I'm lucky, that'll break the alliance with the Ottomans, who are the only ones I'm really actually concerned about in, in this scenario. Come on. Okay, we took that. Which they want, so I guess I have to let them have it. I mean, I don't have to, but, you know, it's probably what's going to go down here. And yeah, if Trebzon hates me, Trebzon hates me. Oh, good, good, good. You, yes! 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 Ha <laughs> ha! Success! Now we can go F up Crimea in a second. Good, because F'ing up Crimea is what I do. Not really, but you know, it sounded good, so that's what I said. And Caraman has now made me a rival. Like, listen, bro, you don't even know me. Ah, no. I, s I swear to God, if you don't come in to help me. Okay, good. The AI is now doing what I do to it. It's genius in its way. But also kind of frustrating. Okay, we got some knowledge sharing going on in here. I mean, I can't complain about that. Knowledge sharing knowledge is good. And this first episode's probably gonna be a little bit longer while we like win this initial set of wars here. 
as you know winning wars is kind of important am i actually gonna fight these guys i wonder to myself the answer is maybe also i'm not oh no i'm not coring these because they're georgian cores as well all right and our king is dead long live the king I mean, surely they're going to give that to me, right? Probably, maybe. I can now call Circassia in. I mean, I'm not going to now. I mean, if I was going to call them into any war, it's going to be the war against the, uh, the Who's's faces. Or the... These guys right here. Who, uh, speaking of... Yeah, let's, uh, get some more claims on them. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. The Ottomans are going to jack them completely up. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Imreddy's going to want this for themselves, aren't they? Yes. Let the hate flow through you. I'm going to get killed when I do this fight, aren't I? Or am I? Nope, I won. Ha ha ha! Success! God, I'm an evil genius of some kind. Not really, but... I can dream and pretend. I'm losing a lot of money on this. Probably from... It's probably mostly from this one fort. And... That was probably actually a bad time to take that, just like... Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, come on. Please win this quickly. Where did George's army go? Did you wipe them out? Okay, we got some Shervani Separatists. We also have... Some more Georgian Separatists. Good, good job, Gaslight. Let's get rid of them. Just because it's easier that way. I mean, we're going to have more Georgian Separatists in a second here. Come on, come on, come on. Finish the job. You can totally do it. Come on. Yes. Ah. If this was the AI, they would have taken the fort already. Wouldn't have even had to bust the walls. Stupid AI. Getting unfair advantages over me. Oh, I'm making money again. That's a plus. You know what? Since no one can bother us anyway, let's turn that off. Make a bit more money. I like my money. Money. Money, money, money. Money. Alright. Boop, 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 boop. Gives us a lot more expansion opportunities. And, I mean, who cares about Georgia, right? You still don't like that? Oh, well, I don't really care what you think. So, you know, there is that. How much of this money do I get? 63, okay. Good enough. And how much is this going to cost to uh, pay? It's going to cost me 190 free admin. Most of which I don't have right now. Genius maneuvers right there. Alright, so... Yeah, let's see here. Who do I screw over first? I'm going to say... Gazakumuk over there. And we're going to want to fight uh, Korra Koinlu. Oh, crapple. Well, that's not good. I should... I should probably... Probably... You know, do something about all this. Like, uh... Yeah, we're going to be... We're going to be in some big trouble here, so I'm just going to... Do that and pray now is the time for prayer my friends lots and lots of prayer but it's good that's good I mean this is a it's a start we we have a solid foundation here uh, how do the Ottomans feel about me they are they still like me that's good they want my provinces but uh, all told I think I can work with this as our like starting block so that in mind I mean, they're literally only going to have no gay or no guy, however you want to pronounce their name, as an ally, and I assume they're, yeah, they're rivals, so I, surely the Golden Horde will not let them through. I mean, they're not golden yet, but they will be. Anyway, that's where we're going to wrap this episode up, so until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button, or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking. It's always double, super special, secret important at the start of anything new on the channel. But until the next time, I will see all you next video.